is a product made by Medtronic. And it's FDA approved for urge incontinence, refractory urge incontinence, so I failed meds, I failed physical therapy. It's also FDA approved for fecal incontinence, I failed uh, behavioral therapy and I failed medication. Also FDA approved for urinary retention. So those are the three, the three most common reasons that we're gonna do interstim. Okay, so we have our back and our sacrum, and we have our nerve roots that run through here and then go to the bladder and the bowel, right? So we're focused on the S3 nerve root, and what we wanna do is we wanna put this wire sitting right next to it. Because stimulating the S3 nerve root calms down the bladder and helps regulate both bowel and bladder function. So different options for interstim, most commonly something called a PNE, peripheral nerve evaluation. First stage, which is what we're doing today, this is the more rare one and I'll describe that in a full. So the interstim technology comes with a wire, a tined lead, which is more permanent, and then a generator. Those are your components, okay? So peripheral nerve evaluation is just the completely temporary lead. It's not permanent, it'll slide right in, it'll slide right out, because it doesn't have the tines on it. So we just do local anesthesia, no general anesthesia for p &E. You come and you lay down, and with x-ray, we place that temporary lead right on the nerve. We stimulate it and we'll see anal bellows, we'll see a toe curl, and we'll have the patient say, you know what, I feel that in my vagina, I feel that in my rectum, so we know we're there. Then we tape it all up and you go home. You get one week to practice with this, and you have to come back and you have to say, I'm 50% or more improved. So I get up 50% less at night, I wear 50% less diapers, I have 50% less leaks, my urgency was a 10 out of 10, and now it's a four out of 10. Anything to document, I'm at least 50% better. So if you do this and you're successful, you jump straight to the full implant. So this is the generator that's now placed with a little incision about the length of my thumb. We do that under general anesthesia just to be comfortable for that. And at the same time, we put in the tined lead because we want it to be permanent and not slip sliding come out easy. So p and &E, greater than 50% success, we take out the temporary, you get the tined lead, and you get the full generator all at once. Okay. So what happens if a woman comes back after her PE and she's like, man, I think I got about 20% better, but I really didn't feel it as the days went on. Then you think, you know what, this thing's super slippy slidey, it probably just moved a little bit off that nerve, and if it's not sitting right on the nerve, it can't be right? So we said, you know what, you got some benefit, but you didn't get where you needed to get to get the full implant. So let's do a first stage. So that's what we're doing today. So the first stage is just the timed lead, but you don't get the full generator because we haven't proven the concept that this is gonna be greater than 50% effective. So again, general anesthesia, because we actually tunnel this in, we place it as if you're gonna live with that permanently. And then we tape it all up and you go home. Again, I see you in one week. And if you're successful, we say, great, you come to the full implant. We only have to do the generator that time because that's already placed. Or if you say, you know what, I still didn't get to that 50%, we, we, we remove that. So okay. Questions? How does it stimulate if it doesn't have a generator? Good question. So it's it's now coming out of your side. It's super taped up, and it has an external generator, kind of like oh, a pager okay. or a cell phone. Removable. Yep. Totally okay. temporary battery. But we don't want you to live like that for the rest of your life, so we internalize it just like a pacemaker mm -hmm. or you know, a cochlear implant or anything where it's on your body and sure. They're uh -huh. coming out with rechargeable ones in the future, and they're coming out with MRI compatible ones in the future. So the technology is really changing pretty fast right now. Um, but right now, you can probably expect around five years. 